Devin Hester was snubbed yet again in getting into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. We're going to talk about that a little bit, and we're also going to talk about the idea of Bobby Okereke coming to the Chicago Bears in free agency. We're going to talk about all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bears fans. So as many of you guys have found out and known by now, uh, Devin Hester, unfortunately, was snubbed. He will not be um, in the hall, being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. This year's uh, inductees include Joe Thomas, Darrell Revis, Demarcus Ware, Zach Thomas, and Rondé Barber. Um, oh, man, listen. I, I'm I'm so, I'm, the, 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 and I and I, I try to hesitate from calling it disrespect. And I know I'm a Bears fan. I'm going to have a, a difference of opinion and view on it. But when you look at the fact that, hey, he, sh- he sh- is going to be the 31st Bear inducted. But when you look at just what he did in pro, uh, four Pro Bowls, three first team all pro, pro uh, recognitions, the most punt touchdown, uh, uh, punt return touchdowns in NFL history, and the most non offensive touchdowns at 20 ever in the NFL. The, the, the disrespect to Devin Hester is ridiculous. This is a guy who completely transformed the game of football on the special team side of things, and people completely act like it wasn't like he didn't do what he did. Like special teams, especially for so long, was just looked at kind of just, oh, okay, it's a thing. You do it. It's part of football. He made special teams be an uh, absolute weapon for years to come. You look at like, and the way that he revolutionized it, if I'm so angry, I can't talk correctly. And the fact that he's going in with, with this level of disrespect, I just, listen, I, I, like I said, I consider it disrespectful when you look at it and what his impact on the game was, uh, what he did in that opening to that Super Bowl. It's just like everything when you look at that, man, it's just been, it's, it's wild, bro. It sucks. Um, and I hate to see it happen to a guy who literally, uh, should be inducted and I think should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer and you know he gets some he's going to eventually get in and that is the only thing in this that does give me a little bit of solace that I know he's eventually going to get in but why we got to wait why do we have to wait for somebody that we know for a fact and I know it's easy to say uh, uh, somebody would have else would have had to come off the list things like that but this man should be in the Hall of Fame and he's a Hall of Famer in my book and anyone who doesn't agree with it I don't give a damn. Devin Hester is a Hall of Famer, and he should be a Hall of Famer, and it's going to come sooner rather than later. Well, it's going to come at some point. I don't know if I can say sooner rather than later, but let me know down below. Question of the day, how do you go, do you feel Devin Hester was snubbed and he should have been a Hall of Famer this year in this year's induction class? Let me know what you guys think on that down below. But I'm going to bring up next, kind of getting back into football and kind of the things we've been doing here as leading up to free agency. We're doing a lot of speculation on free agents that the Bears could possibly go after. And the next one I want to talk about is Bobby Okereke. Now, this is a guy who played for um, who played uh, under the Matt Eberflus before with the Indianapolis Colts. So he's used to that hits concept and philosophy. He said that what he's going to be looking forward to in free agency, what the things that he's going to be looking for a scheme, coaches and position fit. Guess what the Chicago Bears have to offer? We have all those things to offer Bobby Okereke in free agency. We know we need to improve that front seven hugely. 6'1", 235-pound linebacker. He played in Stanford. He was a third-round pick um, in 2019 by the Colts, and this guy is a monster. So far in the four years of his career, he has 420 sackles, 293 solo tackles. Um, He has only two sacks, doesn't really get to the quarterback a lot. Three interceptions that he's gotten. This guy is a baller. And he's he's solid in the run, solid in the, in the pass defense as well. And as the Bears look to improve that front seven, you know, and what we've seen already, Matt Eberflus goes after guys that he has familiarity with. And, and Ryan Poles as well. You know, he tries to bring in people. He listens to the coaching staff. This is a guy that is a, not only a realistic target for the Chicago Bears, it's also one that, probably should be towards the top of their list when you look at what what the Bears needs are in free agency this upcoming season. So, you know, that's what I what I think. That's how I feel about it. You guys can let me know what you guys think on that one down below. I think the Bears could do a lot worse. I honestly, like I said, I think he should be probably towards the top of their target list in my opinions. Now, we're going to move on from this um and move into Justin Fields. So, Justin Fields is doing the media round uh and he he had uh he, a question when he was asked about the trade and he said this. How I look at it is just controlling the controllables. No matter what happens with me, I can control what I can control, and that's how I approach the game. That's how I train for the game and how I carry myself within the... Listen here. 
Justin Fields is the leader that Chicago deserves. He's the leader that we have. And while, yes, there are some issues with him and things that we still need to see develop with him, it's no doubt about it that he is the right person to be the franchise quarterback for the Chicago Bears in my mind. And every time I see the man talk, every time I hear him be interviewed, things like that, I might have said those two backwards. Every time I see these things from Justin Fields, it just solidifies how he is and should continue to be the guy for the Chicago Bears organization and franchise. And you know, he also said this, I think I've shown a little bit, but I don't think I've shown the world what I can do in terms of playing the full quarterback position and playing it consistently. I think there were some times this year where I was better than others. Like my last game of the season against the Lions, that, was, that wasn't a good game. I, I, so, just, so just being more consistent for my teammates, for my coaches, and for the fan base, once I do that, once I keep progressing and keep getting better, then I'll be good. Listen, at the end, of, like, I know I say at the end of the day a lot, but when it comes to Justin Fields, when it comes to quarterback Justin Fields, he is our QB1. He's going to continue to be our QB1. And for the people that still doubt him, for the, some of the, the guys who pop up in the, the comments on the YouTube channel talking about, oh, well, he, he's a passer. Just continue to sit back and watch. Stand back and stand by is what I got to say to you guys because guess what? Justin Fields is coming. And, and I'm telling you guys, what, as long as this team improves the offensive line for him, we'll talk about the weapons. Like I said before, don't be surprised if we don't necessarily go out and get the wide receiver targets that some of us hope. But as we continue to see Justin Fields progress as a player, progress as a man, progress as a quarterback, progress as a leader on this team, I think the Chicago Bears franchise is in a great place. And, you know, you're starting to hear more. And, you know, Michael Vick saying the Bears should stick with Justin Fields. Other people saying that Justin Fields will be an MVP candidate at some point. It's all everybody's starting to take notice of, of Justin Fields and what he deserves and how he's going to lead the Chicago Bears team. And as long as Ryan Poles, the coaching staff, the players around the team continue to step up and grow with him, the future is bright for the Chicago Bears. And I will say this, I honestly feel more positive about the Chicago Bears future even being a 3-13 and win team than I do on probably any other team in Chicago right now. You guys know I cover the Bear, the Bulls daily as well. Um, and I just, I feel so much more positivity around this organization, around the leadership that we do have. And yes, we got tons of things that we need to work on and improve as a team. But we, we, we're seeing it come to fruition with Justin Fields. We're seeing what he coming. We're going to see him mature. He is probably, in all intents and purposes, knock on wood, is probably going to end up being the best quarterback in Chicago Bears history. It's not like we have a lot of, of great quarterbacks in our history, but it's just the, the energy around him, the way he plays, the leadership, everything around Justin Fields just leaves just such a positive feeling um, in, in the future of the franchise. And so, you know, already saying that he will work with the wide receivers again in the offseason. So hopefully that's Chase Claypool and Darnell Mooney, amongst others as well. The growth of this team not completely, but in large parts hinges on the, how quick Justin Fields develops and shows that he's that franchise quarterback. Now, he's shown what he can do as a playmaker. He's shown what he can do as an electrifying player. It's time next season to see what he can do as a passer. And it, the Bear, it's up to the Bears. It's up to Ryan Poles. We're putting that on them to put, the situ, put, to put him in the right situation where he's going to be protected. He's going to have the opportunity to grow as a passer. He's going to have the opportunity to, to show what he can be. And even then, finding out that he got one fifth place vote for NFL MVP, that's wild. And that shows that Justin Fields is on the radar. It's up to him to take it and run with it. It's on the team to put the to continually put him in the right situations. But what we're starting to see is that Justin Fields is growing in a way that I, I that it just it makes the the three and thirteen season just taste that a, a little bit better. Um, to know that we have a guy that we know is going to be our QB one, and you just got to build around him. He's here now. We we got him in. We got him in the door. He's here. We went through a lot of them. We went, you know, we went through the Trubinsky era. We now have Justin Fields, and it's up to this coaching staff. It's up to the front office to continue to put him in the right situations, and then continue to add to that weapon core. This offseason, like I said, I think it's going to be about protecting Justin Fields. It's going to be about improving to, so that we can evaluate him as a passer. Next season may be the season where we make moves on weapons considering Chase Claypool's contract, you know, other things going around. But regardless of that, I think we're in for a hell of a season from Justin Fields leading into next season, and I can't wait to see it. We're going to be covering it right here on Chicago Bears Central. Now, as you guys know, 
Fridays are usually mailbag days. You guys didn't get any mailbags in, so make sure you guys start getting those voicemails in. If you have anything going, I know leading into the Super Bowl, not a lot to say, so I, I kind of expected that this week. But as we go forward and after the Super Bowl, as we get towards March, that's when the moves start happening. And we'll see what happens and what Ryan Poles has in store for us. But that is it for today's daily episode of Chicago Bears Central. Make sure you follow us at Shy Bear Central on every social media platform. You can also send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central at gmail.com. And lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail for our mailbag episodes, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot. For everything Chicago Bears related. And like I liked in every episode on. Go Bears. Love you guys. Bear down, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, 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 break.